Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan from Total Health and Wellness Center. What I'm going to talk about in today's video is in regards to the, any, any organ system is the term hyper and hypo. Now the organ system I'm going to specify with is the thyroid gland, but this could be in regards to any, any, any system, okay? It could be the cardiovascular system, GI system, uh, and so forth and so on. So hyper means too much, excessive amounts. And hypo is too little or deficient. Now, <clears throat> how the body works, the pituitary gland, the master gland, sends a, sends a signal to, in this particular instance, the thyroid gland. Okay, it sends a signal to the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormone. Now, a hormone is a, I always say it's a communicator. It's released in the bloodstream, okay? and we work on what's called the negative feedback loop. So when there's the right amount of hormone in the blood, it sends a signal back to the thyroid gland to shut it down, okay? Kind of like we've had enough. And our body likes to work on a negative feedback loop. However, if there's a disruption in this signal, it's kind of like me talking to you, and I'm using this normal, this normal tone. I'm not going higher or lower. If you can't hear me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start raising my voice even higher and higher and higher and higher. I'm going to be, I'm going to have a hyper tone, tonality, okay, because you're not hearing me. Now that you heard me, I'm going to bring my voice down and now I'm going to have a normal conversation. So that's what's called the negative feedback loop. So in regards to the thyroid, there's, there's a couple factors, there's three factors I like to talk about that will affect how the body responds. Now. In regards to any organ system, you will usually have an increase. You have a hyper state. Eventually, what's going to happen, this is going to be first, and then what's going to happen is that an excess of too much is going to shut down. It's going to be hypo. So three factors I like to talk about that will affect the thyroid gland and its systems is, first and foremost, stress. We all have a lot of stress in our life. However, stress releases a hormone called cortisol. Now cortisol is a hormone that's produced in the adrenal glands which sits right on top of the, which sits right on top of the kidneys. And when you have an excess amount of cortisol being released due to too much stress, what the cortisol is going to do is going to slow down the pituitary function. Now what the pituitary gland controls the thyroid gland, actually the pituitary gland controls your whole body but in particular the thyroid gland, it's going to slow down the thyroid gland, so you're going to slow down the hormone release. Also too, it decreases serotonin levels. Serotonin is, um, serotonin would be like, it's like the shutdown mechanism to the brain. 80% is produced in our gut, 20% is produced in our brain. So when we have decreased serotonin levels, this is, what, this is why the thyroid gland, this is how thyroid, the thyroid gland gets affected. Number two, sugar. Sugar in the diet. Sugar in the diet increases inflammation. Now, the question is how much is too sugar, too much sugar? Well, I tell you what, I always tell my patients this. You're, if, you're, if you have to ask how much is too much sugar, you're taking in too much sugar, okay? So what happens is that inc sugar increases inflammation throughout the whole body. And when you have increased inflammation, it increases the adrenal glands. So the adrenal, again, it's the cortisol release. So when you have increased cortisol release, what that does is slows down the pituitary function, which in turn slows down the thyroid gland. And also, last one is what I call, I call them endocrine disruptors. Now this is like the foods, the GMO foods, the pesticides, insecticides, soy. This will all, basically what's happening, they all act like estrogen mimickers. Now, if there's too much estrogen in the body, what that does is slows down the thyroid function. So, endocrine disorders, sugar, stress, these are three factors that will collectively all slow down the thyroid. It will first speed it up because what's going to happen is that when there's a decrease of levels in the system, it's going to speed it up to eventually it's going to crash it down. So the hyper is too much, hypo, then eventually it's going to be hypo is too little. Now with my patients, when I talk to them, when they're talking about their symptoms, I always ask them, <clears throat> what, what, what happened right before you're experiencing hypothyroid or hyperthyroid? Did you have a stressful event? 
did you have a pregnancy? Typically pregnancies are very, very uh, bombastic on the immune system, so a lot of females will have a thyroid problem after their, after their pregnancy. Or too much sugar. Are you a sugarholic? Are you taking in too much sugar? Increased sugar increases adrenal stress, increased adrenal stress, increased cortisol release, that will slow down your thyroid. So again, is it part of the sugar? Or are you eating it? Are you around an area where there's too much GMO foods? Are you pesticides, insecticides, soy, are you taking in soy protein, a lot of soy products instead of um, like grass-fed grass -fed cows, grass-fed chickens, wild-caught fish, things like that because those are all estrogen mimickers. Too much estrogen will slow down your thyroid. So again, these are just three factors that affect the thyroid. Hyper is too much, hypo is too little, and I hope you liked the video. I'll see you next time. Thank you.